Hereditary Cancer and Genetic Testing. At your cancer genetics appointment, you will discuss your personal or family history, the chance there is a genetic cause for cancer in your family, as well as possible genetic testing options. Before this meeting, it is helpful to review a few basic genetic concepts so during the appointment, we can talk about your specific situation. This video will enhance your understanding and appointment experience. Every cell of our body contains a complete set of instructions for how we grow and develop. A gene is an individual instruction that has a specific job, such as determining how tall we grow, our skin color, or how well our heart works. We also have genes that protect us from developing cancer. Genetic testing can be done on any cell from your body, usually a saliva or blood sample. A laboratory looks at genes involved in protecting you from cancer to see if there are any differences in your genetic code. A harmful change in your genetic code, sometimes called a mutation, can lead to a higher risk for cancer. Cancer happens when there is uncontrolled cell growth due to a buildup of mutations in the protective genes in our cells. Usually this happens randomly and takes time, so our chance to get cancer increases as we get older. Exposure to things in the environment, like smoking or sunburn, may contribute to cancer risk. Only 5 to 10 percent of cancer is hereditary meaning it is due to a harmful gene change inherited from a parent. For example, harmful changes in the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene are associated with a high risk for breast cancer and increase the risk for other cancers, such as ovarian and prostate cancer. There are many other genes that can be associated with an increased risk. It is important to know that not everyone who inherits a harmful gene change will develop cancer, but there is a higher chance. Knowing you have a higher risk means you or your family members might be able to have more cancer screening, start at a younger age, or undergo preventative surgeries. Even if you have cancer, this information is sometimes helpful for treatment decisions or preventing future cancers. Around 20 to 30 percent of cancer is familial, which is caused by multiple genetic and environmental factors. The risks for cancer may not be as high or well-defined, and our genetic testing is just now beginning to identify some of these genetic factors, but most are still unknown. Harmful gene changes that increase the risk for cancer can be inherited from your mother or your father. You have two copies of each gene, one from each of your parents. Therefore, someone who carries a harmful gene change has a 50% chance to pass on the gene with the harmful change versus the normally working gene every time they have a child. If you decide to have genetic testing, it is important to know that there are lots of little differences in our genetic code called variants. Most of the time, variation in our genetic code is normal. It makes us unique from one another, but it does not impact our health. When the laboratory finds a variant, they have to decide if it is normal or not. A negative or normal test result is reassuring, but we currently cannot find every gene change. Also, we likely haven't discovered all genes that increase the risk for cancer. Therefore, even with a negative result, in most cases the risk for cancer is still based on family history. Sometimes the laboratory finds a gene variation that is not clearly normal, but not clearly harmful either. The laboratory will report such a change as a variant of uncertain significance, or a VUS. Because we do not know for sure if a VUS has a health risk, we do not use this type of result to change medical care. We also do not test other people in the family for that uncertain change because we do not know if it is meaningful. If you decide to have genetic testing, Genetic test results will be reviewed with you so that you understand what they do and do not mean. We hope that you found this video helpful in learning more about hereditary cancer and genetic testing. We look forward to meeting you to discuss how this information may be helpful for you and your family.